We are here with Dr. Dream Greens in Houston Dreams. at KPFT. Dreams. Green Dreams. DG. Tell me, tell me a little bit about your band. The band. Um, well, okay. I'm Dr. Dom. This is Superfly Green Garcia. And this is Charlie Sueno, otherwise known as the Dream, who plays with us when he can. And this is Joe Rujo from Skillet and many other bands. And uh, we're Dr. Green Dreams. It's an original project. Iron Skillet? No. no. Okay. Gosh, yeah, sorry about that. Okay. Great. So, um, where is your band from? Are you all from Houston? Uh, we, uh, yes, originally. I'm Joe, are you from Houston? Yeah. Yeah. Laporte, he lives in Laporte at one time. Now we're in Austin, but yeah, we're all from Houston. Okay. We've all known each other for at least 20 years. Yeah, we grew up, us three grew up together. We went to the same junior high and such, so. So when did your band start? What what brought you together to say I want to put a band together? Uh, that's man, that's been a long time. Uh, I don't know. Fourth of July, I think, twenty twelve. Now my my whole dream was I wanted my friends to play with me. I wanted a group of my friends, not you know like we always go hang out and I wanted you know, and uh, me and Carlos, I think that was our first attraction. He had drums and all kinds of stuff. And I was like, oh my God, I play guitar, so let's, you know, let's do this. And then, uh, and then we taught her bass. She played guitar. She was a closet guitar player. Taught her bass. <laughs> and then Joe uh, was I don't in know a, We taught her bass, but we put a bass in her hand. We put it, well, she's learned bass. Yeah. She's taught herself bass, yeah. Uh, for us. So anyway, but no, it was just, I always wanted to play with my friends, so. so. And this is it. You know, when I think of that, I always think of that song uh, by Styx, uh, uh, Come Sail Away With Me. Yeah. And it was talking about, like, uh, going on a starship with all this, I don't know, it's just kind of like a neat image there. No, we're right there with you. <laughs> we're right there with you. We're man. on a starship, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you guys live in Austin? It's, we live in Austin. Uh, well, it's her job. Took her there, and uh, then Austin's a place to be. Actually, right now, I think. Just I like it, the outdoors, personally. Yeah, it's it's just you know much nicer yeah. view, more undulation. You know, it's less so concrete. Yeah, it's not so flat. Mm -hmm. There's deer out there that are in our yard all the time. What's the difference between playing in Houston and playing in Austin? Austin's full of musicians and people support their musicians there. Here, nobody supports. No, no one goes to see shows here. You, you have friends you can kind of bribe to get out, but most people just don't go out to see shows. Okay. Is it more select? Is it harder to get into shows over here? Or no, it's not there's harder. There's a lot of great musicians here, but the Nobody the goes public, to see them. Yeah, the audience, there's not an audience. They're supportive of music here. People in Austin go see shows. That's the difference. <laughs> and so, there's, mm -hmm. and there's a lot more musicians in Austin, and there—I mean, it's the same, you know. Um, like the, the gentleman before us was saying, there's all kinds of super good musicians in Houston, and there should be a scene here. But the the problem is, there's—you were saying it's not cohesive, and people do not go and support local music. They barely support national nice. acts. National acts will avoid Houston because nobody comes to see them. They'll, they'll play Austin and Dallas, and they'll totally miss, the, like you said, the fourth largest city, because nobody's going to come see them. What are your fa some of your favorite places to play in Houston? As far as sound, I don't know. Uh, I like Fitzgerald's, uh, Rudyard's. Rudyard's. Last concert. Last concert, say. for sure. I mean, outside, inside, the last concert. There's a lot of good venues, though, quite a few. Anyone? I agree. What's your favorite place to play of all time? Uh, probably, you know, festivals outside. Um, let's see, we played Westheimer Arts Fest with Skillet. That was used to be really fun. And then... Um, beer Fest. The Beer Fest, we played that. Dr. Green Dreams played that. And then, um, I mean, anywhere there's a crowd, I don't care. It could be right here, right now, you know. It's just anytime. And it doesn't even have to be a big crowd. Just whenever there's an audience that's responding to what you're doing, is when I have a good time. Are there certain stories or certain artwork that drives your music? 
Yeah, a lot of them have, you know, themes. And it's just all, a, Dr. Green Dreams for sure is just straight out of my crazy dome right here, so. Uh, it, Life experiences. Yeah, it's just. We've lived it. Live it and love it. But, uh, yeah. If Dr. Dream Greens. Uh, we, dream, we dream dream, dream but it's green dreams. Green dreams, yeah. Was a, <laughs> a mythical character, what would he be like? Love it. Uh, he, love it. If he was, well, see, it depends on who you are because it's a more, if it's a morph into whatever you want it to be. Your 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 green dream can be anything that's green. It could be money. It could be, you know, the love what of nature. A character be? Well, well, what's so a that's okay. Character? The mythical character could be anything. It could yeah. be, be this. This giant morph, I'm talking about a chameleon that, that morphs into whatever he wants to. What are you talking about? <laughs> what's, your, what's, your, what's your mythical character? What, what's your vision of Dr. Green? A unicorn? A unicorn? I knew it. Rainbows <laughs> coming out of his butt or something? I thought it was going to be a shark barfing a unicorn riding with a cat riding on his back or something. That's an awesome. Uh, yeah. That's an awesome, awesome. Yeah. That is an image. And as always, we love to be at KPFT with Lisa. Yeah. This is a treat. How did you all first meet Lisa? Uh, last concert cafe, open mic. What? Yeah. yeah. And then um, you guys got up and jammed with her on one of her songs. Yeah, Is that she's an undercover musician. Yeah. Yeah, that's how we met. She's great. And then she and came to the house. She's all about being real. Lisa's like, what's up? Yeah. She came to the house and jammed with us. We had a great time. We kind of bonded. Yeah, we love Lisa. Lisa's awesome. Excellent.